CV Connection, true career placement for physicians. Hey guys, thanks for joining us this week. It's been a lot of fun. Um, all week long we've been talking about the net income guarantee and different arrangements and, and agreements and how you can calculate a safe salary for you and your family. Um, I've been mentioning though that there are some pitfalls to the net income guarantee and I want to go over that with you today. Um, and, and really I've only seen this happen once but I want you to be aware of it because it, it, it's going to be a big mistake if, if you do uh, kind of fall into this trap. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little story. I was working for a rural hospital uh, trying to find an orthopedic surgeon and uh, my client called me one day and told me that he had found an orthopedic surgeon after, uh, after months and, and almost a year of looking. And I started asking him, you know, how they found him and what the offer was and things like that. And when he told me the offer, he said the guy needed $800,000. So he was asking and getting $800,000 per year. But when we profiled the search, we only knew that the physician could actually cover a $400,000 salary. And that's what was making things so difficult is that they could only actually produce about 400, 425 to cover their own salary. But this guy was asking for 800 and the, and the CEO justified it in this fashion, okay? The contract was gonna have a three year forgiveness like we, we talked about earlier this week. And I'll just put for, okay? So a three year forgiveness. So what he figured out is that the hospital was actually gonna make more profit off of having an orthopedic surgeon there for four years because you have one year, the first year of the contract and then you have a three year forgiveness more than likely. Because once this doctor realizes that there now is a $400,000 debt owed, he's more than likely not going to have the checkbook to just write over $400,000 and he's gonna to choose to use a three-year forgiveness, and that hospital's gonna come out ahead in the long run. And this guy was able to get his board to bite off on it. <laughs> so I was kind of, needless to say, glad that it was over because once I figured out that that's how they were getting their surgeon, I really didn't wanna be a part of it. But um, it was something that I locked away in the back of my head, and I wanted to share with any physician that, that uh, would listen. So I wanted to share that pitfall with you. Watch out. Make sure that you're doing the calculations like we talked about this week to put you and your family in the best possible position. Uh, at the end of the first year, you're either making that decision to continue to stay in that community and move forward, or you're making the decision that it's not right for you and you're leaving and, and going and you're not wasting any time. So I hope that you enjoy the, the um, uh, time that we've shared this week. Next week, we're gonna talk about if using locum tenens assignments is a great way to find a good permanent position. Um, but until next week, thanks again. We'll see. For physicians seeking opportunities, for employers seeking physicians, learn more by calling toll-free 866-231-5588. CV Connection, true career placement for physicians.